Greetings my lovelies, hello it's Emmy. welcome back. Today I'm going to be making another retro recipe. This time it's going to be the banana candle. <laughs> if you missed my last retro recipe for the bologna cake, be sure to check that out. I shall put the retro recipe playlist up above. It was amazing. It turned out beautifully. I'm very, very proud of that video. Be sure to check it out. So this recipe comes from a cookbook from 1970 called Be Bold with Bananas. <laughs> And so I didn't find an exact recipe, but from what I gathered from different blogs on the internet, it seems pretty straightforward. There's not a lot to figure out here. <laughs> and the ingredients I have today are a couple bananas, the straighter the better, pineapple rings. These are just the canned version, no need to get fancy. Some maraschino cherries, a little bit of mayo, and some lettuce for garnish. Okay, that's it. No cooking, no nothing. So the picture that I'm using for reference has a bit of a kind of candlestick thing. I don't have one of those things. I'm gonna use a plate, and then I'm gonna use this little tea mug here and place this on top to create kind of a faux candlestick. Now, I'm going to line my candlestick with some lettuce leaves, freshly picked out of the garden. There we go. Now we're gonna take our pineapple ring, place that right in the bed, right in the middle. Now we're gonna set this aside momentarily. Take our banana, peel our banana. There, get myself a knife. Now I want my banana to be nice and straight, so cut there. Yeah, that'll do her. Bring this back, place our banana right in the middle of that ring. It's gonna be a bit of a balancing act. We're going to make a little bit of candle wax using our mayo. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. And just for a little color contrast, I'm gonna add a couple drops of maraschino cherry juice. Ugh. Oh yeah. Now we're going to take this and kind of drip it down our... Oh. Don't you hate it when your banana doesn't perform? So what might help is a little support. I'm going to take some toothpicks here and put them into the pineapple ring and help our friend out. All right, let's try that again. Candle wax dripping. Oh. Wow, that's pretty, pretty gross. Who invented this recipe? I mean, really? And to finish our candle off, of course, we need a flame. Use a little toothpick. And then finally, we're gonna top it with a cherry. Wow! <laughs> this thing is amazing! And here is my finished banana candle. Isn't it lovely? All right, let's give this a taste. Ugh, not looking forward to this one at all. So what I'm going to do first is remove the toothpick that's underneath this cherry. Because I don't want to hurt myself. Let's give her a go. It's an agima. Let's try that again. The flame doesn't want to stay lit, go figure. All right, here we go. Itadakimasu. That was totally heinous, wrong, gross, disgusting. Do not recommend that at all. 
So I don't like bananas in the first place, so it's not surprising that I wouldn't like this, but the combination of that ripe banana that's very mushy and kind of slimy with the kind of slightly tangy mustard and the sweetness of that maraschino cherry and that fake artificial flavor of cherry, just heinous. Totally, totally wrong. But <laughs> definitely worthy of your retro Christmas dinner for sure. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another retro recipe test. Do let me know in the comments or on social media if there's a particular recipe you'd like to see me try out. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that one. Hope you guys learned something. And yeah, follow me on social media, share this video with your friends, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Oh, be sure to check out the bee vlogs too. I've been taking care of bees. And yeah, if you want to see those, you know, go over there. I wish you could smell my banana.